How's it going YouTube? Um, today we're going to start a new project. This is the X2500 uh, ARF kit from ProJets. It is a 25mm wingspan. Let's see if we get this in close. Um, weighs 2700 grams. It is 1080mm long. Uh, wing area is 32.5, wing load is 76 to 38 grams, um, aerofoil, uh, yeah, Alper 374 modify, I don't know what that is, but that's what it is. It's going to take a 4 to 5 channel radio, a 38 to 42 Size motor, 40 to 60 amp ESC, a two blade or three blade, and a LiPo 304S. Um, we're actually starting this build as a project for a buddy of mine. Um, in, in this build, we will be putting a E Flight 32. An e flight 60 amp um, pro. Wow, look at that glare. 60 amp pro. Um, we'll be running a Spectrum AR635. This is a six channel DSMX with the ASX uh, gyro in it. We've got Two HS eighty two MGs and two HS three twenty twos HD. I don't know. Um, I don't know what server we're going to end up running right off the top of my head, but that's what we've got to start with. So we'll modify the kit, or the we'll modify the components as it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause real quick. Open up the box, get some of the components laid out so we can see them better, okay? So give us just a sec. Alright, YouTube, we're back at it. Check this out. This thing is massive. Um, you don't quite understand what 2,500 looks like until you see it here. So, whoop. just flip the video. Sorry, guys. Get back. There we go. Uh, yeah. It's humongous. A little bit of a shadow for me, but I'm okay with that. So this will be a fun build. Um, swing around. Set you back here right quick. Now, on the fuselage, this guy here, we just take two standard servos here and then it comes all the way down here so where we'll end up putting our ESC and then our big old fat 32 size goes back in the back in there um, it is entirely bolsa and fiberglass so you can see fiberglass so uh, pretty well molded kit so far, I uh, no complaints, but you can tell I just opened it. A little tape here still. Um, the instructions I, are going to be almost entirely useless for this kit, I think. One of the side effects of the Chinese kits is that 15 steps to build this bad boy. Fifteen. Um, yeah, let's hope we can do it that easily. So, uh, we'll, uh, get her opened up and get her figured out here in just a bit. So, let me pause you one more time and I'll get the wing up and we'll get looking at the wing and we'll get going on our step one. 
So give me just a bit and pause it and clean up this area. Hold on. Alright guys. So what we're doing is we got this is our flap. That's our L, uh, aileron. Um, what we're doing is we're actually installing these with these guys right here. Um, oops, as I throw it on the ground. This guy right here. This is called a CA hinge. What you do, if I kick the camera, is take it, and you can see there's a little cut in that piece right there. You take it and you insert this hinge into that part, either A as far as it goes or halfway. Um, this particular one's got three, and that one doesn't seem quite deep enough. So, right there, let me grab that one I dropped, and right there, now on the wing, we have identical holes that line up, and our hinges just go in those holes. So, see how we're slowly working it in? Get our third one in. Like so. Line everything up the best that you can. So, giving it, um, we want to have just a little bit of an edge right here because this part butts up against the fuselage. So we want to make sure we have a little of a gap here. Not super, but a little. And then we want to have a little bit of a gap there between the two and a little bit of a gap here. You can see we're kind of tight so we'll just bump that over, split the gap, and there you go. Now once you've done that you're going to take some CA, um, let's see what I have, clear gap fill, should work marvelous, what you do is you, what you end up doing is you bend this over and on your hinge you just put a couple good coats. Now your hinge is going to wick that in, so do the other side, like so. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's the way you do it. You think, well that CA hinge is going to get hard and brittle, but no, what it actually does is it sucks the glue into the hinge or into the, it sucks the glue in the way those hinges are made it sucks it in and glues it in and you can see that it ain't breaking and it ain't coming loose oh well I should wait until the glue dries so <laughs> Where do we do that? Anyway, as soon as the glue dries, <laughs> it won't come loose. Now that I've pulled it loose, <laughs> I'm a pro. What can I say? So I'm gonna do the rest of these hinges, and this time I'll let it cure, and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So bear with me another second. All right, guys, we're back. Um, this time I waited adequate amount of time. You can see. No separation, lots and lots of crazy travel, again, no separation. So that's how you do a CA hinge, that's how you get this setup working, nice and floppy. So 
that's a wing. I've got to do two more of those. i got to do two elevators and one rudder yet. So I will be CAing hinges and glue for a while. After this, we're going to move on to the servos and the wing and the servos on the uh, body and everything on how we're doing that. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, you guys have a good night. Speedy Mix, signing off.